Today I'm going to do a really fun sewing project. I will upcycle two pairs of jeans to make a top. And I chose the empire dress pattern that I will adapt to sew the top. To make the top from the empire dress pattern, I will use the pattern pieces 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6. I will trace the pattern pieces for my size to silk paper. You can use parchment tracing paper or the paper of your choice. For the bottom front of my top, the piece number 2, I don't want the pleat as we can see in the dress. That's why when I trace the pattern piece 2, I follow the seam line. It's mentioned on the pattern. This line will be my center front fold. I shorten the pieces 2 and 5 as I will sew a top instead of a dress. I measured the length from my underbust until my hip height and added 3 cm for the seam allowances and hem. I marked that measurement on both sides. Then I traced a curved shape like the original pattern piece. I also modified the pieces 1 and 4 around the collar. By the shoulders, I add 4 cm in width and mark the 4 cm all the way up and trace a curvy line as in the original piece. I repeat the same thing on piece number 4. Here, I measure the bottom of the sleeve and I mark the middle. Then, I measure a simple sleeve and add 2 cm seam allowance. Mine is 24 cm in total. So, from the middle, I marked 12 cm on one side and 12 cm on the other side. Then, I trace a straight line like this. After that, I need to undo the seams of the jeans. Now I can place the pattern pieces and start preparing the different pieces for this sewing project. I start with the biggest pieces, which are the sleeves. Then I do the rest. For the top back pieces, I don't have enough space to cut those pieces, so I need to unseam the pockets. Once that's done, I can pin and cut piece 4. I repeat the same process with the other pocket to make the second piece 4. I prepare lining pieces for the top front and back, like we did with the empire dress. As always, I transfer the dark lines mentioned on the pattern to the fabric and lining pieces. I do the same thing for the notches and the marks. Before starting the sewing process, I overlock the edges on all pieces, including the lining pieces. Now that everything is ready, I can start making my top. I won't go through all the sewing and assembly techniques as I already explained in detail on my sewing tutorial of the Empire dress. If you want, you can check it out right here. First, I pin and sew the dots. After sewing the dots, I cut the excess fabric and press. Here, I assemble my top front piece with the top back pieces. I place the right sides together, pin the shoulders and the sides. Now, I can sew here. I 
I repeat the same process for the lining pieces. Once that's done, I press the seams open. Next, I assemble the top piece with the top lining. I place the lining on top like this, right sides together. Line up the seams together and pin around the collar in the front and back. Don't pay attention to the notches on the lining. I made a mistake earlier and I had to undo the seams and film this part again. Oopsie! Yeah, that kind of thing happens sometimes, you know? Okay, enough talking, let's sew here now. After that, cut notches where it's curvy. Then, I will press by putting the seam allowances towards the lining as shown here. Now, I can top stitch through these three layers, which includes the two layers of seam allowances and the lining. Here we go again with the ironing. I fold the two layers really well like this and iron. Next, I do a basting stitch in the bottom and on the sides. Here you see the bottom back pieces and this side is where I will place the zip later. Here you have the marks for the pleats. So, I fold from one mark to the other like this and pin to secure it. I do the same thing on the other one, but in the opposite direction. I sew these three layers together close to the edge. Now I assemble the bottom front with the bottom back pieces. I place them right sides together like this and pin the sides. Then I sew. After, I assemble the bottom to the top. As always, right sides together and the side seams matching. I pin all around and sew. Then I press the seams open. Between the marks on the sleeves, I will do a basting stitch that will help me for the gathering process later. After that, I pin the sleeves right sides together as shown here and so. Then, I pin the sleeves to the armhole. First, I make sure that the seams on the top and bottom are matching and the front notches too. After that, I pin from the bottom to the basting stitch for the gathering. Once that's done, I gather the top part of the sleeve and continue pinning. Then, I sew the sleeves. Now, I place the invisible zip. First of all, I pin one side and sew. Then, I repeat the process on the other side. Next, I turn the top inside out and pin the side.
I will secure the bottom of the zip with the zipper fold and after I will sew the remainder side. For the hem of the sleeves, I iron the edge twice, like this, and pin all around. Then I sew. I repeat the same process to do the hem of the bottom. And I sew along here. Thank you for watching this upcycling video. Leave a comment to let me know if you would like to see more upcycling sewing projects. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to help support me. I'll see you next Monday with a new tutorial. Bye bye!